there's a lot of excitement to get outside and do some planting and get some tomatoes and peppers and flowers and try and get out there and get everything planted. And uh, we've still got the possibility of frost all the way through the first part of June. Um, you know, generally our last frost runs around the 15th or 20th of May, but the last couple of years we've had some later frosts as well too. So uh, there's some hesitancy by a lot of gardeners to, you know, be afraid to get out there and plant some things, but there's some great ways you can protect your plants, get some things planted when you feel like it or when you've got the time or, or uh, when you just want to get out there and do something. And uh, we can try and protect those plants so that they'll stay uh, frost free uh, for, the, for the next uh, couple of weeks. So we've got a nice tomato plant right here. I know there's a lot of gardeners who are excited to get outside, get some tomato plants going, you know, get some cucumbers, get some squashes. These plants are all very susceptible to frost. And uh, this one here, this is a Juliet grape tomato. Really nice tomato, but there's some things we can do to try and protect it. One of the newest things that we've got, of course, is a new product that's called Freeze Proof. Now, the Freeze Proof comes in a ready to use and also comes in a concentrate as well, too, so you can mix it up and make your own. But the Freeze Proof is just like antifreeze for your plants. Now, uh, the Freeze Proof, you can apply it on a plant like our tomato plant right here. So, once we get our tomato plant planted, we can take the Freeze Proof, spray it all over the plant. What it does is it absorbs it into the tissue, and uh, as we start to get colder temperatures, it will keep the tissue of the tomato plant from freezing. In fact, it will lower the freezing temperature of the tomato by about five to eight degrees. So instead of freezing at 32 when we get a light frost, it'll probably be good down about 24, 25 degrees without damaging the tomato plant. Now the freeze proof, we've used it for a couple years now. We've had some excellent, excellent results with it. And it has been amazing on vegetables as well as flowers. And uh, we've seen some really great results on uh, keeping plants from, from freezing. So if you have a really, really tender plant, like say a basil, uh, they'll freeze almost instantly at 32, even 33 degrees. Uh, the basil are just really sensitive to the cold. This will probably give them about four or five degrees of added protection. But a plant that's a little bit hardier, like say a petunia or a geranium, which uh, can handle a couple degrees uh, colder than freezing and still be okay. This will probably give them an extra eight degrees of added protection. So down to, you know, maybe even 22, 23 degrees without damaging those plants. So the freeze proof really does a great job at keeping the plants from freezing. Uh, like I said, it's just like antifreeze for your plants. It really does a great job and we recommend it very highly. There are some traditional methods to protect your plants. Of course, we've got hot caps. Hot caps are good for about two degrees, maybe three degrees, and then just go right over the top of your plants and uh, give you just a little bit of added protection when we get those light frosts. We also have the wall of waters or the season starters, which will hold the moisture, actually put water in them, and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll circle your plant. And uh, as it starts to get cold, the water will release energy. Even as the water freezes, I've seen the walls of water freeze solid and still protect the plants on the inside. So that, that uh, added barrier of water will generate a lot of heat and absorb a lot of heat through the day and then release that heat at night, keeping your plant protected. But uh, one of my favorite ways to protect the plants is called the Aquadome. And the Aquadome is a lot like your uh, wall of water, but it's got a twin wall. So you can see right here, there's two, there's two walls of this hard plastic. You put water in here and uh, it generates all that heat just like the, the wall of water does, but it's a, a lot harder plastic and it's easier to put them over your plants. So it'll just go right over the top of your tomato plants or your peppers or whatever it is that you're trying to protect and it does a great job at insulating those plants, keeping them from freezing. All that water that's inside here will generate a lot of heat and also a lot of extra growth and it won't be very long before your plant's growing right out the top of your Aquadome and uh, it really does a great job. I've got uh, an Aquadome or two at home right now on some cabbage plants I'm trying to get some early growth out of and the cabbage are just growing like crazy even with the cold wet weather that we've had and they've been very very good so the aquadomes do a great job hold up really well i've had uh I've had mine for probably five or six years and they're still going strong. They're doing really, really well, uh, holding up very nicely where the walls of water or the season starters tend to start to fall apart after about a year or two. And then we've got a new frost protector, which is called a Grow It Now. And this is more of a, a harder plastic also, but it doesn't have the, the twin wall barrier, but uh, they're, they're collapsible, so they, they completely come apart. So you can take those apart at the end of the season 
Let's see if I can get that to come apart. There we go. You can take this apart and it will fold flat. So really easy to store. So it'll fold completely flat. So it doesn't take up very much storage space. But when you go to protect your plants, it'll probably give you an added four or five degrees, much better than your, your traditional hot cap. And once you get them over the top of your plants, you can seal up the top and uh, really hold that heat and moisture inside there and keep your plants happy. There we go. Just like that. That'll keep your tomatoes or your peppers in nice size to them too, so they'll they'll really uh, uh, handle a larger plant and keep those plants from freezing. So between the the grow it nows, the aquadomes, the walls of water, and definitely the freeze proof, we've got a lot of options for you to try and protect your tender plants while we still have a chance of frost.